San Antonio. This is Rob for the Metalworks. Tonight we are at the Sunset Station. Brings me great, great pleasure to welcome long-standing metal drummer Dave Chivari and Laz of Il Nino. How you guys doing, man? What's up, guys? How you doing, man? How you been? Good, good, man. It's, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here with you, Dave. Thank you, brother. How you doing, Les? I'm doing all right, man. It's a pleasure to have you aboard on our <laughs> Titanic here. <laughs> uh, definitely getting geared up for a, a good night tonight, man. And I know that there's a lot of fans out there who are anticipating the show tonight uh, because people are anticipating the disc as well. But we're going to get into that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and start off, uh, Dave, about uh, El Nino. How did the band start and how did you get things rolling? Because I've heard different things about, about how it came together. Um... Uh, well, the band was started about uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, I was uh, playing sofa for a little while, and I was jamming with uh, Chris and Mark at the time. And uh, came back from touring, and we started writing some music. And then we all got together, man. You know, we got we actually stole the three other members from other guys in other bands. And uh, you know, we approached Jardel, uh, who's a guitar, a rhythm guitar player, Lazaro Pina, which is a bass player, and Roger Vasquez, which is a percussionist, and. Uh, you know, somebody with as crazy as we were wanted to just do this full time, you know, and uh, we got together, man. We started jamming out, started working on a demo, and shortly after that, uh, you know, we signed with Roadrunner Records. And um, officially, you guys are from Jersey? Yes, New Jersey. Hudson County <laughs> area. Everybody's from like yeah, different, different spots. Yeah. South America, everywhere. And, and let's talk about uh, the vibe of the music because I think a lot has been said that you guys bring a lot of heaviness, melody, but also got a little Latin twist uh, with the music. Yeah. Can you comment a little bit on, on the vibe of the, of the music? You know what? The best way I would describe it in my own words is um, it's sort it's heavy music. It's sort of like a, a, a Santana, but doing heavy, heavy music. Slayer me Santana. There you go. <laughs> I think that's a good combination. You know, put the little uh, ethnic flavor in there. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, hopefully kids will just be into it. And Dave, uh, and, and this record, the new record that hasn't yet come out that I um, that I know of in San Antonio, for some of you who are going to get your hands on it later it up, on in September, get it, man. September 18th, if I'm not mistaken, right, Dave? September 18th, for what? Uh, Revolution, Revolution. Let's talk a little bit about the tracks on this record. Um, are these just tracks that you guys compiled over that last year and a half that you were talking about? Uh, yeah, actually... Uh, we just wrote, wrote some of the songs, four songs were written before we actually went into the studio to write, you know, songs for the record. Uh, we did about eight weeks of pre-production and uh, we, like, busted ass, man. We had, like, I think, two days off in a matter of eight weeks. And, um, you know, it's kind of, it's hard to find a formula and, you know, find something that you're happy about, you know what I'm saying? Like, to satisfy six other members in the band. Right. And uh, I think everyone has such a wide variety of, you know, of taste, musical tastes, you know, and... Uh, I think that we finally hit hit you know the formula that everyone liked, that everyone was happy about, and everyone was digging, and uh, you know we stuck to it, and everything's been cool so far. So far, so good. There's there's uh, definitely a lot of good things happening for the band. You guys are on Roadrunner, um, have some good management. Yeah, Andy Gold Management, who also managed Linkin Park, Static X, uh, Bribe Zombie, you know, Parliament 5000. Can't go wrong, man. Can't go. So far, so good, man. We've been. We pick, you know, we hand chose our, our, our management as well as our label and as well as our lawyer and our accountant. You know, it's everybody. <laughs> we had a good team, man. Good. And, you know, and every especially started with the band. You know, we got. I got the best band I've ever been in. You know, without a doubt, hands down. And, and let's talk about it. It's good to see you guys on the road. How have the fans uh, been uh, as far as reception uh, to the performance and to and to the music? Some of them who are getting turned on to it or who have heard your songs maybe on the internet. The fans have actually been taking to it pretty well. I mean, they're going crazy every night, so, I mean, it's definitely good. Last night, especially here in Texas, seems to be, like, a great place for us to be at, I guess, heavy Latino population, and they are, I mean, they show some love here, which is amazing. Yeah, I mean, so far, it's just been great reception. We've been very lucky. We haven't got to experience anything negative, so we're just... Yeah, we're happy about the way things been going. Hopefully, it'll keep going this way. Yeah, I mean, you know, right now we're just uh, planting the seed. Right now, you know, playing out before a record is out and making sure that everything, you know, goes as planned and making sure you let kids see the band, you know. And uh, it's funny because a lot of kids are singing the lyrics right now, and a lot of kids are really digging the music, you know. And it's, it's good to see. I think we have a really, a really good uh, internet buzz right now. There's tons of kids downloading our shit and. So far, so good, man. You know, it's like everyone's really, really receptive to us right now. And we have much respect and love for that, you know. 
and you guys are already on the road even before the record's out. So I'm anticipating that you guys are going to be out on the road for a long time. Long time, man. You, get, you guys are going. You guys are going to get fucking bored of us. <laughs> you guys are going to have to be like a damn again. But they're, you're going to have to come see us, man, because you know that type of band. You gotta come down as a different party every time, you know what I'm saying? Cool. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be up for a while. We've been on the road for uh, almost five months now, mm-hmm. and uh, record's coming out September 18, so we'll probably come be on the road about almost two years after that. And uh, we plan on being up for a while, man, because we truly believe in this record and we believe in everything we're doing right now. Cool. It's a very close knit family, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we were talking a little bit before the interview. Um, about inter- about videos, because uh, for shows like mine across the country, video work is still important. Uh, tell me a little bit about the guy, the video that you guys have coming out, and obviously, um, do you feel that uh, medium is still important? Oh, absolutely. I think, especially local shows across the country, I think that reaches like our core underground following. And if you know, sometimes you don't get the MTVs or the box or whatever is existing, much music, and you know you have a video what do you do with it thank god for shows like yours you know they keep us alive which is definitely much appreciated and there's a lot of bands that have survived just strictly on local shows across the country so i mean yeah we're very supportive of this this is definitely a happy thing to be doing did you did you actually um uh, back to the video, did you like doing it? Was it a lot of hard work or was it fun? Actually, it was a quick video. I mean, we shot it in L.A. We didn't have, you know, I mean, it was pretty limited with time and, um, you know, for what we got, I mean, I'm happy with the way it came out. You know, our video director, you know, spent, you know, a good, a time, good amount of time editing it and um, he did a pretty nice job. We're happy. It's more of a performance video, but it's like a taste of what we're all about, you know, a little flavor, you know. Well, the first, you know, for our first video, you know, we wouldn't come out. You know, I think that a lot of bands coming out with the first big single video and everything. And it's cool to do that, you know, and much respect to bands that do that. We didn't want to do that, you know. We're such a a, a different band, I think, than a lot of bands. You know, uh, we are a very and super heavy band, you know. Like Sepultura, heavy and brutal and stuff like that. And then we touch a lot of prettiness, you know, a lot of Incubus. Uh, Santana type of rhythms, you know, a lot of and, uh, and yeah, stuff. and a lot of dynamics and stuff. And we really don't want to come up with a soft song and kind of fake people, you know, and say, oh, we're, we're, you know, we're a pop band because we're not, you know what I'm saying? We're a metal band with a lot of different influences, you know. And uh, basically, we wanted to come up with a video that represented everything El Nino was, and we chose God Save Us, who uh, Darren Duane actually directed, and uh, just basically wanted to make sure that we had a song that was heavy, was brutal, that it was Latin. That it had samples, had everything, you know, all the all the elements, all the ingredients of what El Nino is about. But uh, yeah, we're really happy. Like I said, you know, the reason why the amount of time we had is because you know we're on the road. We were, we went uh, on tour with Soulfly for four weeks, and uh, you know, after that we were home for maybe two weeks, and then came out with Spine Shank for about a month. And now we're on this tour for six weeks with Factory 81. Then we're going home, and I think believe it, we're off for nine days, and we're out again. So, so we all, you know. We've had no time, man. It was like, come in, we have one day off. Okay, you guys got to drive nine hours, unpack, do a video, pack up, and go to the next show. There was no sleep. So it was cool, man. We had, you know, you do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's all going to pay off for you, Dave. Any last words for the people out there, man? Yes, uh, thanks for your support throughout the years, man. And uh, thanks for the warm welcome to the band. And uh, pick up the records coming up September 18th worldwide on Roadrunner Records. Island Def Jam distribution and uh, you know come out to the shows and check out the band because not only will you love the record but you'll love the band live so come on and chill peace out thanks for everything any last words left and if you can't afford the record <laughs> go ahead and steal it man because you know if it doesn't come back to our yeah. company man we channel, still bro. we still getting paid so <laughs> any way you can you know just support just ghetto it up right it's on it's all good in the hood just bring <laughs> Get it in your hands and be sure to put it in your CD player, San Antonio. Remember, Il Nino is the name and they rock right here on Rob's Metalworks. Peace. Peace out.